Hi, I'm Gary Hall Sr. from the Race Club. Today we're going to do the second webisode on butterfly and the key components to swimming faster butterfly. Last week we talked about the importance of body position. Today we're going to talk about the importance of the underwater pull and the recovery. First, let's talk about the underwater pull. We've spent a lot of time telling you how important it is to pull in freestyle with a very high elbow, what's called the early vertical forearm. Well, you can take the drag reduction you get from the freestyle pulling with a high elbow and you double that and that's the effect that you're going to have in butterfly. In other words, you really want to use the same high elbow pull in fly that you do in freestyle. And there's the same temptation because the power is greater when you pull deeper than it is when you pull shallow and wide. And yet, the drag coefficient from the upper arms is greater, leading to slowing you down and tiring you sooner in the race. If you pull, push off a wall underwater with both hands extended out to the side, you come to a stop almost immediately. That's the way you're pulling underwater with both arms almost in that same position. So it's extremely important to keep the elbows high, pull shallow and wide, do not let the hands get too far under the body as you complete the pull and get them out for the recovery. Now let's talk about the recovery. Even though that only takes a few tenths of a second, the way in which the arms are brought around on the surface is very important. That is in fact the recovery period and the arms should be very relaxed. In order to keep the arms relaxed in the recovery and fly, you have to be able to extend them backwards as far as possible, let the wrist go loose and relax them as much as possible as they come over the water, always with a straight arm. You notice how Michael Phelps looks like he's swimming easy when he goes even 100 fly in almost world record time. It's because his recovery is relaxed, the part you're seeing. Underwater, it's a different story. There he's aggressive and he's strong. But he gets those few tenths of a seconds of relaxation on each stroke that make him more powerful and more able to sustain that speed through the whole race.